Vamos a ver qué se esconde. Interesante. El pavo ha volado hasta... ¿Quién sabe dónde o...? Hay chance de encontrar el cuerpo. Aunque sea... When was it that you realized the board was crushing the life out of this colony? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the board? The machine of oppression? Ain't that why you became a pirate? Because you wanted to be free and all? I'm just after a paycheck, kid. Vale, la media no me no me jode nada.
¿Qué nivel es esto? Es nivel 20. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. My plan's better. Oh, what's your plan? We skip all the paperwork and reorganize the board quick and violent-like. A so-called hostile takeover. Hmm, a daring notion, but often an expensive one, and fraught with unforeseen consequences. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52, with that data you're holding, of course. something going on this is exactly the proof we need the board will have to welcome us back now i'll transmit this data along with the completed bolt 52 right away after that we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond that means no more broadcast from us Okay. Entiendo. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, but it was Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. I just don't get how you could be so casual about your integrity, Ellie. The way I see it, you're either standing up to the board, or you're standing up for him. I know new arms ain't exactly your strong suit, but it's not that simple. Grow a few hairs on your chest and you'll see. I might not have your schooling, but at least I stand for something. 
and you'll fall for anything. That's how the saying goes. Vaya tela. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ellie, how's your head? Still spinning? Felix, the secret to surviving a good night is a big breakfast. Wait, what are you yammering about? I was just curious is all. You used to make a face whenever we talked, like you had a... You're feeling all right now. Look, you're okay, but don't go rubbing it in, all right? Vale, lo que vamos a hacer es cortar casi que ya. Vamos a acercarnos un poco a esto. a hacer esta misión y nos piramos. Hay una subida por detrás. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? Ain't you fancy? Well, I got two pieces of advice for surviving the dust pack, friend. One, don't let the dust get in nothing private. It's like 10% spores by volume. You'll be yanking out fungus by the handful. Two, you can't actually keep the dust out. Always carry antifungals. Sprays work okay, creams are better. You got nothing else? Vodka. In charge? <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question, maybe ask who's respected hereabouts, I can give you a sensible answer. Make an iconoclast out of you yet. Out here, you ain't beholden to managers nor wages. 
The two names every iconoclast esteems would be Mr. Graham and Ms. Zora. And they ain't leaders, and don't you insult them by calling them such. They're more like everyone's grandparents. They've been around, they know shit. You got a problem? Best bet's to ask them. When the Monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the Borg, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. That ain't enough. Look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Okay. Y redirige el cableado. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. Kid, I ain't got but half a liver left. And what's there don't work so good. And I can still drink you under the table. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas chai. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes.